Oh, thank you for picking me up. I'm so glad that there's someone nice here. I can tell by the sarcasm you don't really believe that. Oh no, really? I'm so glad that, you know, some people thought I looked around this area. So are we going to get going or what? Uh, I think we should probably get going, yes. I don't think we're going to be able to do much here with uh, you and Toe. Oh, sorry, I'm such a burden. Maybe I should be able to walk on my hands for you. I, uh, this is definitely not going to go well. Yes gonna be a long walk to the village, I imagine. A long walk? Well, you people would better carry me. You know, it might not be a long walk. What do you mean? Well, didn't we pick up something? Might be useful. Oh, the, uh, teleport key? Yes. I mean, it might be useful. Yeah, but do we know where it'll go? Well, it says it goes to a village. Is this the village you're from? Uh, I guess so, yes. It's uh, the only village in the area, so that makes sense. And is there an obelisk there? One in the square, but why? Well, we have a teleport uh, stone here. You should know about this. You're from here. That's stuff of the gods, not something I deal with. Well. Let's see if it works. Never in my heart did I believe you would be true to your word. Even as we approached the village, I could not allow myself to trust. Yet, you have returned me safely home. My thanks are all I can give. Fate brought you to me when I needed you most. Perhaps... It will be kind to you as well. All that I have carried with me is yours. I leave it here for you. Again, please accept my thanks. You stripped naked. Um, okay. I don't really need another water skin. So yes, we are now in the village. Um... Oh. And yes, the teleport uh, thingy here. Pretty good. I'll just pick it up for uh, cleanliness sake. Actually, what I usually do is I find, uh, you know, one of the tents here. Huh. Pick up a scroll on Desert Troll. Of the Desert Trolls, I can tell you, avoid them. They are known to conjugate in unholy hordes, their strengths and tenacity traits honored in men, but evil reflections in the Desert Troll. Can there be among them, uh, one among them, not welcome to the opportunity to harass their helpless victim? They chase it to the very gates of death? No, they are a dangerous breed. And how to destroy them? No matter the weapon used to dispatch the desert troll, each one can regenerate his wounds, restore the flesh, uh, and evil will it live. Only damage done by fire, water, and acid can place a permanent scar upon the beast. Only the liberal application of these elements may lay a desert troll permanently to its rest. Hmm. Good to know. But not something I'm going to need to be carrying on here. Let's just chuck that. There's a whole bunch of water skins over here. Let's start chucking, checking water skins, because, like I said before, um, we've got the create water spell, so uh, we shouldn't really need that many. I'm just going to carry on one just in case. Um, Let's start checking the armors, because it's not going to need that. This is going to be useful. That here. We'll eventually start getting, like, uh, bags and the likes. 
so that should definitely help out. And yeah. We can just leave that there. Let's actually deal with that dagger. Now if we go to the uh, southeasternmost tent, which is slightly outside of the village, we have here a man. Come closer. Are you... are you truly? Yes, a foreigner. Stranger to Harakir. I, Pyotr, welcome you. I welcome you as though the sun rises in your heart and the cool moon proclaims us brothers. Now I know we are not alone, my sister and myself. These Harakiri prove dull company. The lucky of the wit of camel masters. The rest cringe in terror at the slightest stirring of the sand. Uh, yeah. About that. You have a look about you, familiar. You have a sister, you say. And brothers too, though I fear for their souls. Their bodies are no longer to be worried over, for their dispirited, rotted flesh has left their bones. Only jackals have use for their remains. We are the Stani, gypsies some call us, wanderers. For so long Barovia was our home, the mists our ally. We drew our wagons where we would, and the fogs, deadly to others, bothered us not. If the wrath oh. of a flea might fell a camel, then my wrath be upon Ankhapat, my sister! I had not seen her, I... She often stole away from us, alone. She would journey into the sand, seeking a way out of Harakir for us. Her magic was one to command the mist, and she blamed herself for bringing us here. Now it is all but done. Only I remain. Ah, such a terrible affliction, the rotting disease. Now all but one of our band has been brought down by it. Yeah, um, sorry about that, I kind of misclicked. Um... Speak of mist, the fog, she become lost in its unwelcome patterns? Yes, we became lost. If when lost one trades mountains cool and snow-capped for the burning sands of Harakir. Mm. From his castle heights, the lord of Barovia called the Vistani friend. Here, the dull witch shun every soul not as dull as their own. And the rotting disease spreads. It comes upon you like a hot wind right through the walls of your soul it comes. My brothers and the others with us, they felt it. The hot touch of death. Oh, so yeah, you came from the mountains and then suddenly appeared here. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a great thing. So the village of Mahar affected as well, and they blame the Vistani for bringing the disease among them? It is difficult to say what they believe, though generally it is this. The lord of the land, Hangtapat, stirs in his ancient sleep. He is a mummy, mm. wrapped as much in evil as in cloth. Though the cloth has tattered, the evil has not. It is he who sends the fierce storms across the land. Perhaps it is he who has released this strange rotting affliction. Yet what has drawn this creature's attention? Stirred his wrath. In the eyes of the villager, it was once the Vistani. Now that we are gone, it could be you. It could I hesitate, be. But I must ask this of you. When you found her remains, my sister, did you find as well a certain dagger? It is strange to ask, I know, yet this blade of which I speak was the one symbol of our family. An heirloom, if you will. Whoever leads our family is charged with keeping it. Now I am leader and family both, all wrapped up in one sorry spirit. The blade, do you know of it? Uh, we do not know if this dagger is nowhere to be found. Um, actually no. Um, we know the dagger, but it's no longer with us. It's still with us. Here is the dagger which you speak. We found it near the bones of your beloved sister. May you keep it uh, as well honed as did she. My thanks. With this dagger I feel as a bloom in the desert, given life by he who waters it, yet unable to do more than accept the gift. But how much longer can I hope to survive myself? Oh, please allow me to join with you, whatever you are about. I shall make myself as useful as rain in the desert. I cannot find my way out of Harakir alone. And to wait here for the rotting sickness to come is worse than death itself. So, um, Piotr is a thief. 
Um, and we've already got a thief with us, so... Um... We're about a dangerous business. Stay here and risk not your life. Uh, we may have no more uh, hope of escape than you did belo your beloved sister. That's kind of mean, but I guess that's uh, it's about accurate. No, I cannot accept that. You will come to see the folly of your ways. Of that I assure you. Strong hands I have and hard to match. Go. Go then! But you shall be back with apologies brimming from your lips. If not else destroys you, my curse will find you in the hot days to come. Well, we kind of peeved you off, but we at least did that quest. Yay. Actually, you know what? We could use a traveling companion. So this is the... Um, auto map um, down there that's the uh, well so actually That's the well over there. Oh. Nope. There we go. Hmm. Looks like there's stuff over here. Let's label over here is the, um... Blind and uh, dumbstruck woman. And might as well just label over here. Uh, Piotro is over here. Not that we're going to need to really deal with that much at all. But yes, let us actually continue north quite a bit. Because, yeah, we could use a traveling companion. That's one down, and that's two down. Nice. And no music at the moment. The desert is quiet. And those people are loud. Okay, so let's see here. This is little bit closer to what we were looking for. Let's see. All right. Now well, let's head east from here. So massive place as we can see and not a place I would really want to be here well really want to be in for now that would be the um oh looks like there's thingy ooh nice ooh Death spell. Potion of extra healing. Looks like you could have used that earlier, my friend. Carrying anything else? Nope. Oh. Ah, yes. So. Yeah. Um. 
guess I moved a lot faster than I thought I was. Ah, that's because... Yeah, I overshot. That's fine. Yeah, the, um, area is surrounded with this, um, massive, uh, heat wall. Let's head southwest a little bit. Oh. Here's a thingy. The thingy of any import? No. Ah, uh, we're getting close. Ah, yep, this is the obelisk. Uh, place we're gonna need to go to soon, but not right now. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's where I wanted to be. Hello? There. Move not. Allow me to study you for a moment. Ah, fear, but mixed with defiance. Ah, the sweet scent of adventurers on the move. Though the sands of this place have worn and worried your flesh, you are not native to Harakir, nor am I. Does that surprise you? Not really. Uh, you look as though Harakir has claimed your time for many years. How have you survived? Without help from the villagers. In oh. Muhar, the frightened huddle in whatever shadows they might find. They wanted not my company. I wanted not theirs. Villagers, blah. They do not even make worthy prey. How have I survived? By cunning and skill. But you know this, for they are your tools as well. Your scent separates you from the villagers as wolves stand apart from sheep. Uh, all in all, your appearance is a surprise enough. What, uh, who are you? <laughs> who is Raktur? What? Is Wemmick. Is this your first encounter with one of us? If so, how sad you have not joined us in battle. Pride, clan, and nation, the Wemmick stand strong. Long ago, I roamed far from my pride to seek my prey in the high mountains. Then the mists came. The land warped and turned about me, becoming somewhere else beneath my feet. The where is here. Here is Haraki. Yeah. Pardon me, the asking, but you appear wounded. How did this come about? Mistake not wounds for weakness. Obviously. Each scar I have burned, symbols of courage worn into my flesh. Of these, the most recent came in a battle with desert trolls. Mm. I confess. The beasts near to overwhelm me. I would not have escaped without the help of one of their own number. Really? Explain I cannot. But one of the trolls attacked his own fellows. As my knees faltered and blood ran fresh along my face, he set among them a confusion. It allowed my escape. Interesting. Um... Look as though you lost everything. However, a brave face you put on it. Would you come along with our adventure? A creature of your heart is worth an army from Harakir. The offer is welcome. My equipment and supplies are scattered, lost to the desert trolls. The most grievous loss was my armor, torn from me in the struggle. Perhaps in your company, I may find the chance to win it back. Absolutely. So, now we have a new companion. 
Uh, Hraktur. He comes armed with a spear. Is that something I can use? Yes. Um, I'm going to hand you a uh, sword and put you in the front lines because um, yeah you've got a better armor class uh, of three than uh, any of us do and yes you are a warrior uh, fighter level five neutral good my mcmail um, decent strength all of that fighter 8500 to next level 3500 nice um, these outer two areas are the back row, and the middle two is the front row. So, um, yeah, giving, um, Yansu a spear so he can, you know, poke at a range. And that should help things out. So, when we come back, well, we've got a bigger party with us. Yay! So when we come back, more of the deserts of Hadakir. Have a good one.